Audrey Treschke. I teach South Asian history at Rutgers University in Newark, New Jersey. And I'm here today for a pretty simple reason, which is to tell the truth. Right on. Okay? Well, a lot of people like telling the truth. It's sort of a value across cultures and societies. For me, as a historian who deals in facts and realities, telling the truth is also a professional obligation. Amen. <laughs> but not everybody likes the truth. Foremost, perhaps, are Hindutva ideologues. Now, Hindutva is a political ideology. It is distinct from Hinduism, right? Hinduism is a religion. We have no problem with that. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his political party, the BJP, openly adhere to Hindutva. Now, as I'm a historian, let me share with you a little bit of history. Hindutva came about roughly 100 years ago, give or take a few decades. It was inspired in its early days by Nazism. Did I say Nazis? Yeah, I said Nazis. Now, we hear a lot about Nazis these days. Some people are a little bit loose with that terminology. I want to be clear that I am talking about real, actual, historical Nazis, okay? Early Hindutva espousers openly admired Hitler. They viewed, they praised Hitler's treatment of the Jewish people in Germany as a good model for dealing with India's Muslim minority. That is a chilling thought. I bring up this history because it's a good reminder that when we talk about rising fascism in India, we are not exaggerating. We are not being dramatic. We are not being loose with our vocabulary. We are merely being accurate. Now, I spend most of my time in universities, okay? I'm much more comfortable at the front of a lecture hall or in a wood-paneled room, all right? I don't get out in this sort of stuff very often, all right? All right, but even for my academic work, I have been subjected to a lot of pressure. I have received rape threats. I have received death threats. I require armed security to speak in India at times. I have even required armed security on certain occasions to speak in the United States. That is how threatening the